Hey, it's Mario here and in this quick video you're gonna learn how to make cardio fun and I'm gonna share with you my top three ways how I make cardio more enjoyable. We know that there's many benefits of cardiovascular activity. I mean, we know that it's beneficial not just while losing fat, when it's a great tool for expanding more energy and allowing you to eat more food, but also when it comes to bulking and gaining muscle mass, there's also unique benefits when it comes to that and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of the video where I already went in depth with that. There's also a variety of other benefits with combining weight training and cardiovascular activity. One interesting book that you wanna check out is from John Ratey that released in 2013, a book called Spark, which goes into the science of how your brain responds to cardiovascular activity, which stimulates BDNF factors and growth of new neuron cells, which is extremely, extremely fascinating read, which I would highly, highly recommend you to check out. There's also a variety of research coming out on combining cardiovascular and weight training activities. I mean, there's just recent studies coming from um, Cypress that show that combination of two has unique benefits and that's something we want to look into as well. So how do we make this more enjoyable? Because I know that a lot of people are looking at cardio as something that they just have to do and it's kind of, oh, let's just endure it, let's just get it over with, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I, do, I hate it but I have to do it, right? So it's kind of that love-hate relationship going on there. And I can tell you from my own experience, you know, when I first started out and one of my biggest regrets was actually doing too much cardio. I was doing cardio seven days a week. Uh, when I was first starting out and then eventually I gravitated from doing seven days a week to zero and I was actually one of those anti-cardio people and in my second year of training I was like oh fuck cardio you don't need that you can get ripped without which is true I mean you can definitely get ripped without cardio uh, but there are certain health benefits the more and more I went into the research the more and more I study this topic I've realized well there are unique benefits of combining both so why not just do that for the sake of better health so what are my top three ways that I would recommend you that you can make cardio more enjoyable so the way number one it's something I'm a huge fan of and that is simply listening to audiobooks while you're doing your cardio so you see these things here these are my earbuds I use them and I'm gonna actually do a review on them soon on kind of what from my experience are the best uh, gym Bluetooth headphones that I could find and they, they've been uh, working like magic for the last two years and I use them and I use this not just for weight training but also for cardio to listen to audiobooks. And basically I'm, I'm a big fan of bundling different types of habits that I know that are really beneficial for me. I can bundle and I can stack cardio with listening to audiobooks and that's the reason because cardio is more repetitive. If I'm doing a repetitive type of cardio like cycling, if I'm doing something that doesn't require a lot of my attention and that's maybe even jogging for you if you like to do jogging. I personally am not a fan because of that uh, basically that eccentric component which I'm just hitting the ground all the time so it impacts my leg training and I feel uh, weaker and I can't really ad adapt to have that much of uh, this type of cardiovascular activity. But in terms of cycling and these activities that you're doing on the machines in the gym, like treadmill and something like that, listening to an audiobook is magic because you're basically getting both cardiovascular gains and also brain gains at the same time because you're learning about something new, something exciting. And there's a, there's a whole array of audiobooks that you can pick from. I'm gonna leave also a link to my book list, to my whole bookshelf there in the description below for you if you're lacking ideas. I like to listen to a variety of topics. Most of these books that you will find there will be on personal development, also on exercise and psychology, all these other things about nutrition. I mean, this is something you wanna do as it will allow you to get in those hours of reading that you wanna do per week. I mean, let's say you set a goal, hey, I wanna read two, three hours per week. I mean, that's not a big deal if you also combine it with cardio and if you also combine reading when you're doing like walking around the city, when you're doing shopping, when you're doing all these things, you're gonna get the benefits of reading plus doing that activity. So to make cardio fun, I basically, most of the time I do it while listening to an audiobook. So that's my preferred way of doing cardio. And that's one of the reasons why I don't do the type two suggestion that I'm gonna give you in this video because I like to do audiobooks. So the type two suggestion is doing something that puts you in a flow state. And while you're in a flow state, you can't really listen to audiobooks. It's kind of an opposite way of making it more enjoyable is that you get into that flow state that's also called being in the zone, like the way Mihai Chisette Mihai calls it, you know, you being that flow state where you simply lost track of time. You're so immersed into the activity that the activity is just uh, generating, like it's pure positivity, it's like pure focus. You feel like you're like on a different plane, like you're just insane, right? So if you've ever been there, I mean, 
most of us been there like when you're in that complete zone when everything is really going your way when you're having that super low reaction time when you're like insanely insanely fast when you com come up with solutions and all these things i mean that's one way to make cardio more enjoyable and this is where sports come into play because when you're doing some kind of sports if you're doing any like any combinations of let's say if you're doing uh, snowboarding if you're doing uh let's say if you're doing uh, surfing you find yourself being in that state where you just need to be in flow, to actually maintain balance, do all, all these other things, but you can also combine cardiovascular activity with doing something like that. I mean, if you do swimming, which is a really good example where you do need to be in some flow if you wanna basically master the skill, it does put you in that flow state or that very relaxed state where you, where you have to be present to the moment if you wanna actually swim properly, right? So it just it's like a form of an active meditation. When you look at swimming, what it really is, it's kind of active meditation because if you're, if you ever try to swim and if you have like these, all these concerns, after a while you're gonna forget about them because you have to be focused, otherwise you're gonna drown. Uh, so that's one way to make it fun. Also like doing stuff like skateboarding, doing, doing stuff like that, that really requires your attention. And that's one of different way combined to the first way. And the first way doesn't require any attention. The second one requires 100% of attention, right? So there's many different other ways. I mean, you can do things like tennis, you can do things like volleyball, you can go on the beach, you can, you can do some uh, sports like that. It, it doesn't really matter what you do, but it matters that you enjoy the activity that you're doing it, and that's the most important factor here. The most important factor, obviously, is your enjoyment in the moment, and you find it a little bit more challenging than you're used to, so it's kind of a new uh, realm for you. It's like a zone outside of your comfort zone a little bit that pushes you in that sweet spot where it's a little bit challenging, but you know that you can overcome it if you focus 100% that puts you in the flow state and also allows you to get all the cardiovascular benefits as just a side benefit of you just simply enjoying the process, right? Being 100% flow is also enjoying the process. So the final and the third way that I would like to make cardio more enjoyable, most of the time if I have the uh, possibility, is either taking group classes or doing some form of cardio with a training partner, right? So the reason why this I find this very, very enjoyable because I'm a very competitive guy, right? So I'm, I'm looking for a competition, anything, all the time. So for me, going there with someone, it's like, okay, let me crush the person, you know, I wanna compete with a person. If you can find someone who's also in the same mindset, it's kind of that friendly competition, which really pushes both of you guys, and you just say, well, we have these two cardio sessions per week, let's make it fun, let's do something cool, let's do something interesting that we can push ourselves and let's see who's a better man, right? And that's, way, that's a really interesting way to uh, just make cardio more enjoyable because you're pushing yourself at the same time, but you're also doing it in a friendly way. So there's not a lot of that pressure, you know? It's kind of like friendly competition. It's not like some active skill that you're working that you wanna be the best at in the world or it's, there's a lot of pressure. No, it's just like, okay, here's my buddy. I just wanna beat him, you know, just for the sake that I can just brag uh, to other our friends or on Facebook or somewhere else. Like, it just not, in a, not from an ego standpoint, but more like from a standpoint of enjoyment. Or some kind of group class where you would just go dancing, do yoga, do some kind of um, other classes, I mean, whatever you have available in your gym, in your city, that will make cardio more and more enjoyable. And also when you sign up for group classes, you know, you're kind of expected to show up and you're gonna make a lot of connections there, you're gonna make new friends, you're gonna engage yourself in a lot of uh, social environments and social situations where you can make some good uh, connections with other people and that's gonna make it more enjoyable. People will always make it more enjoyable and more fun, but if you're doing it solo, I mean, look at those first two things, either choose the one that doesn't require your full attention, which is audiobooks, or the one that requires 100% full attention, which is the flow state type of activity. So those would be my top three tips. Something that I do basically uh, is a combination that I said most of the time is audiobooks. If it's not audiobooks, it's basically gonna be swimming, like here in Croatia. I mean, we have a pretty good uh, sea, we have pretty good beaches, and uh, during the summer you can go swimming, and you don't have to bring your phone with you, and it's quite relaxing, and you can get a lot of cardiovascular benefits at the same time, but also that stress reduction benefit of just not having to be like hit up by notifications all the time, which is, can be quite annoying and really make you unhappy if you're really becoming a slave to those notifications. So hope you enjoyed a quick video here on how to make cardio more enjoyable. Let me know in the comments below, what is your most preferred way to make cardio enjoyable? What do you do to make cardio more bearable or do you do cardio at all, right? Just let me know in the comments below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.